Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Addie. Today, we are gonna talk Christmas in July. I am so excited to celebrate Christmas in July with my kiddos. I can remember doing it as a kid at summer camp and it was just so much fun. So I can't wait to celebrate with my kids as well. Uh, my kids are five, two, and one. So if that is around your age and you like kids activities and motherhood stuff, subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's talk Christmas. So for me, we're gonna spread this Christmas in July over four days. So it's on a Monday this year, we'll do Christmas on Monday on July 25th. And then the three days leading up to it are also gonna be Christmas themed days, but we're gonna have different things. So first off on that Friday or day one, I'm going to make that kind of like a giving themed day. So I just wanna make sure that my kids grow up with the you know, notion that Christmas is more about than just getting presents. It's a season of giving and giving and volunteering and being kind to people is something that I really want to instill in them. So day one is going to be all about that. We have a local place here. Um, it's a food pantry called The Caring Place. And so you can volunteer there or we can gather um, canned goods and do a canned good drive potentially and bring them to donate something like that. Um, so that is what I think we're going to plan to do. If that doesn't work out for some reason, then we will do something else to give. So whether it's when we're out, we're opening doors for people or making dinner for another family or someone in need, calling a loved one who we haven't spoken to in a while or an elderly person that has been sick, giving them a call, maybe even making cards for our community helpers like our firemen and our librarian, stuff like that. So we will still find a way to give back or to incorporate kindness into that day. Another thing we're gonna do that day is go to the library and check out Christmas books. A lot of times you can't find them on the shelves of your library, the out of season books, but they typically have a room where those holiday books are kept that the librarians can direct you to. So I know where that is because I've had to do that in the past, but ask your librarian or go online and search the book and see where you might be able to find it. Um, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick up a bunch of books so that we can read a lot of holiday stuff over that four days. And then also we're going to pick names for Secret Santa. So only my kids are gonna um, participate in that. So each kid will pick a different kid. And I don't really want to buy gifts so i don't want to add more toys into an already overly toy stimulated world so what we're going to do is i'm going to work with each kid on each day to make something for the secret santa that they choose so for example i have one daughter who is super into paw patrol right now whoever picks that daughter i might suggest that maybe they make little paw patrol badges as that person's gift so definitely trying to make or create whatever we can here. I don't wanna go to the store and spend money buying gifts for this. So we're gonna make stuff here. If you wanna spend more money and do toys and stuff, that is totally fine, you can do that. Here, I just wanna keep it simple um, and not like, I, yeah, I just don't wanna spend money basically. But we're gonna make those gifts and I will set aside a day for each of them to help them make one for the other child and then we will wrap those up and let the other kid open it on Christmas in July. So the next day, day two, we're gonna have Christmas craft day. So I have lots of different Christmas stuff um, in our craft supply closet because I am me and that's just what I have. Um, you might not be able to find some stuff at the store but you can always make something Christmas themed. One thing that I do definitely wanna do is make like a holiday wreath of some sort to go on our house. That's something that I really wanna do for decor for this Christmas. However, I never have time for DIYs by the time Christmas actually comes. So what better idea than to make it during Christmas in July when I have more time? So I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up like 10 of these babies, which are pool noodles, so great for summer. I picked up like 10 of these red ones. I picked up some white duct tape. We're gonna wrap them, make them candy cane looking things, and maybe we might 
um, turn them into a wreath and put some uh, ornaments on them. I also was thinking we could use this as like a candy cane type thing that we could put at the um, center of our house. So we're definitely gonna use pool noodle themed, summer themed supplies to make a Christmas craft. And that will be like what we kind of focus on for that day too. I do have other supplies just for them to draw with and color with and make stamps with and that sort of thing. So we'll do that too, but craft day is day two. On Christmas in July Eve, that next day, day three, I'm gonna make all about cooking or baking. So I will probably plan to start the day making some sort of Christmas themed breakfast, like Christmas tree waffles or something of that nature. Um, and then we will spend some of the day making cookies and we will do the traditional sugar cookies that they like to roll and use the cookie cutters and then decorate those. And then I will also do some melted snowmen because I think that is super cute for the summer theme, you know, or if you had a snowman, it would be melting. So I just think that would be a really cute one to make and we will do that as well. The other part of that day, again, will be helping one of the kids make the gift for the other kid. So I'm gonna be spreading that out over those three days as well. And then finally, my plan for Christmas in July morning for them to wake up and do Christmas so they will get to open the gifts that the other child made for them. Additionally, I think it would be kind of cute to have the other kid who has that person for Secret Santa pick what they think the other kids like three favorite toys are at our house and wrap them up just so that they have a couple things to open and it would be like a little surprise for them and just something cute that they can pretend is Christmas. If you do toy rotation and you have some toys that are out of rotation, maybe it would be a good time to bring some of those out, wrap the ones that are out of rotation at the moment and do that. In the afternoon, since it's hot outside, I thought maybe we would make some frozen hot chocolate and just have fun maybe playing in our little pool while having frozen hot chocolate. And then at nighttime, I wanna do a Christmas movie night, whether it's some of the classics, we have these classic DVDs. I don't know if like Netflix, Amazon, that sort of thing, I don't know if they have Christmas movies out right now. If they do, we could also pick one of those. If they don't, then one of these would be fine. Um, but in addition to that, I'm going to do like a scavenger hunt printable and you can get it in the description below. But basically while they watch the movie, I'm just gonna have them searching for or keeping an eye out for some Christmas related things that they might see. So that's gonna just add an element of fun to the theme. So those are kind of the plans I have for the four days of Christmas in July that we're going to be doing. You could decorate if you want and make it really Christmassy. I might pull out one of our really small trees. Like I think it's like two feet tall. I might pull that out for our Christmas tree and maybe hang a couple lights around the room or something, but that's about probably all I'm going to do. I don't want to go up into the attic and pull all of our Christmas stuff out for this. That's just a little bit too much. We can still have fun you know, doing the things that we can. So that is my plan. I have thought about if it goes over well and everybody has fun, then it could be fun in future years to have like a Christmas in July party and make it a family friends event and do it on a weekend and just kind of have summer Santa or something and doing that. But I just wanted to do something small to see how it goes this year. If you do Christmas in July, or if you think this is fun and would do it, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.